guys what's up so today is my most exciting video i've ever made because if you guys have not watched my last episode i basically got um griffiana iron wings and so i went ahead and i've uh, gotten enough gems just from like um tasks and stuff to be able to speed up the hatching so we're gonna go ahead and feed griffiana iron wings and here we go three two one boom Alright, so this is our ancestor. I'm gonna go ahead and sell it. Just kidding. We're gonna place it in our habitat. Oh boy. Look at this beautiful monster. Such a cool monster. Got a cool ultimate too. Alright, so. Uh, we're gonna skip that for now. We're gonna go ahead and be feeding it. So the traits we've got right now are area, cooldown, immunity, trait protection, immune control. I really like immune control. And then trait protection becomes more useful along the line when it comes down to, like, standard, uh, well, actually, it's good with immune control by itself, but it's also good with, like, you know, true vision and stuff. Uh, anyways. So, we're just gonna start feeding it, I guess. I'm not gonna go so sorry, we're just gonna feed it. Alright guys, so it turns out I actually did not have enough food to get it to max, but you know, it is what it is. So we're at level 89 right now. Um, so we're going to look at the skills. So we've got Armored Pig, Zero Stamina, yeah, we're definitely going to be using that one. It's Insane Metal Damage, Evasion and Double Damage, that's really good. Hurricane, what else do we have? Oh, wait, 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 I need to check something. So, it says here... That there's like skills that you get for ranking it up. But. Oh no, you need 200 cells? I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to rank it up. So I guess I'll just be stuck with these skills. But whatever, they're still really good skills, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so we've got in Armored Pick, Insane Metal Damage, and then Moderate Metal Damage, yet it's Lightning? That doesn't. That's not confusing at all. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and use that one. Dang. Like, look at all these good attacks that you get later on. It's kind of sad. Anyways. Uh. I guess we're probably just gonna go. Evasion and double damage. Well. Elegant pick, very heavy metal. I know I want this, I know I want this. It's between these two. I'm going to go ahead and switch out this one, because, first of all, this one's zero cooldown. I mean, oh, sorry. This one, I already have a metal attack. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to go for this. So, these are my personal preference as far as skills go. So, yeah. Um, now we got to do runes. So, let's go ahead and choose our monster. So... God, where are you? I'll just sort by ancestor. There we go. Griffiana Iron Race. So, we're just gonna do uh, strength probably. So, we got strength 8 and strength 7. So, yeah, we're just gonna start with that. Let me go ahead and see what the, her speed is now. Or, sorry, not speed, strength. So now it is 47,000. In comparison, my strongest attacker is Serpentix, and it's 43,000. It's pretty nuts. Um, and then once I save up enough gems to go ahead and unlock the um, next room slot, I'm probably going to do another... I think sometime along the line, I'm going to get a mutated rune. I just don't have any right now. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and try out um, Griffiana Iron Wings. Let me look at the speed. It's pre pretty decent speed. So, um, for now, I'm just going to change out my... Uh... Oh, okay. So, for now, I'm just going to remove Serpentix. And I'm just going to use Griffiana instead, just for the video. So, let's see. Ancestor, Griffiana. Okay, there we go. Oh, I forgot we need to do Relics, too. So for relics, we've got sword and essence. All right, so I heard laser beam sword is good. I don't know if I have if I have laser beam sword. 
After damaging the skills, target's life is below 50%, deals 34, 35 damage. Okay, yeah, I think this one's definitely better because it removes stamina. So we're gonna go with this sword, and then for essence, I kinda just want comeback essence. But, Greek healing. 90, 65, 91, 32, Yeah, we're just gonna go with comeback essence. I don't have enough food right now to level them up, so th but this should be fine. And then, while I'm doing that, I'm just gonna put Serpentix on my defense team just in case I get attacked. And that should be good for now. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into an attack. Here we go. We're using our ancestor for the first time. Oh, this team sucks. We're gonna destroy them. We got heavy light damage, armored pick, hunt fly, and right swing and hurricane. So let's go for armor pick. We're gonna slow it down for a second here. Let's just see how much. Let's just see how much damage it does. Holy cow! Three hundred and thirty thousand damage. And actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna um go ahead and use the uh what do you call it? Um. Uh, why can't I remember the name? It's like you know the ability that Griffiana Iron Wings has. Yeah, the I don't know what it's called, but you know it's this thing called Intruder and Elimination. So let's just go for like. He has evasion. Let's just do that. Oh, it has to deal damage. I'm so stupid. Okay, we're just gonna deal damage so that we can um, use the awakened ability. Okay, we just gotta deal damage one more time. So we're just gonna go with hurricane. Oh gosh, I need to use Catholicon. Hold on. There we go. Perfect. Okay. We just need to do it one more time. Okay, we're just gonna righteous swing this person. Boom! Ancestor awakens. That's so cool. I wish I could have slowed it down for that. Okay, here we go. We're going to use our ultimate ability. Intruder Elimination. Sable straight on all enemies and deals heavy metal damage to all enemies. It's pretty decent. Wait, we've also got these. What are these? Skill mirror after receiving tank. Okay, well, we know what those are. And 25% damage increase. That's really cool. All right, let's go for the ultimate. Boom. That's so cool. 154k. Pretty decent. Okay, so, oh, did you guys notice how, like, Griffion Iron Wings looks, like, different after she's awakened? Did you guys notice that? Like, right now her armor is silver, but when you, she's, like, awakened or whatever, it return, it turns gold. Anyways, let's do a couple more battles. Although, real quick, I am going to go ahead and finish this uh, breeding tower. Whatever it's called, I don't, I don't remember what it's called. There we go. I don't actually know what this does. Let's go ahead and see what this does. Summon. Whoa, what's going on? 20% less for two days. Okay, that's alright. Speaking of uh, breeding, right now, because of the event, I'm really hoping I can get Voltaic Redeemed. I don't think I got it the first time. I might have, I don't know. Because, but there's like a whole bunch of different monsters that can be breeded with... Demonstrious and Lord of Atlantis. Like this one, this one. I mean, I'll be happy with this one. This one's just really cool overall. It just looks cool. This one, this one. Yeah, all of these legendaries, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, all of the legendaries could be breeded. Serpentix, I mean, that would be cool. Because I could extract it. Because I need cells for Serpentix. Oh, wait. Oh, dang it, I can't bring King Atom. Obviously, you guys know he's Megaton, so that's really good. Anyways, let's just get back into the um battles. I'm going to see actually number one right now. Fangstroth. I'm surprised it's not Team Spirit 2015. Yeah, look, here's the closest Team Spirit 2015. Anyways, I also wanted to ask you guys if you guys had any pointers as far as my defense and offense team go. So for my defense team, I heard somewhere that Prospero is good because he has anticipation. Um, but and also are these skills correct? And then also for my attack team, I just put Fropsy because I wanted to put Ram on my defense team. He's really fast. He's got 16k speed. And these are the skills I'm running. And we've also got Ignis. I mean, I know Ignis is a couple generations old, but my but for some reason he's actually working really well for me. He's got two NERs, one with damage boost and one with 50% uh, heal, so he's actually quite decent. He's got a uh, one cooldown heavy metal, which is nothing special. Anyways, we got Uriel the Divine. I love these. This guy is like amazing, but he's really amazing at um. Rank 3 when he gets dodge area. And I don't... Because I haven't ranked him up enough, I don't have... 
Oh, what's it called? I don't have the AOE possession, and I also don't have the, like, the one teammate resurrection with evasion and damage boost, I think that's what it is. But anyway, I think, I'm pretty sure the best smooth set to run on him is Ethereal Nimbus, Catholicon, the other resurrection skill, and the other possession skill. And then, I've also got Fropsy's really good taunt monster. Um, these are the skills I'm running. And Serpentix also. As you guys might know, Serpentix is like literally one of the best attackers, if not the best attackers. Well, actually, no, he's not the best attacker. The, the best attacker is... Can you guys guess who it is? Griffiana! It's Griffiana. Yo, guys, this video is actually getting quite long, so I'm just going to finish it um some other time. Or I'm just going to do some more um, multiplayer videos some other time. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.